Hello, welcome to Discount Vespine Gas, episode number four. In this episode, as I mentioned in the last episode, episode number three, which was about practice, we're going to be practicing some more. And we're going to apply our practice today to Marines versus Banelings. This means that we will have to be learning some kind of splitting, like maybe you see in Marine King Prime versus Kyrick Zenith in season number two of the GSL. That's a pretty awesome game. It really was. And... I have already done this episode one time, and the neighbor kid came up to the window, and he's like knocking on the window, and he's like, hey Rob, I want to play StarCraft, and I, you know, kid wants to play StarCraft, I had to shut down the, I don't stream, I just record, I had to shut it down and let the kid play StarCraft, so I'm redoing this one, and I realized last time while I did the last one that it went on way too long, so rather than just talking a lot on the camera, hi there, we're just going to go ahead and get in the game and talk while we're in the game. So, <clears throat> here we go. We have some Banelings. We have Marines. We're going to be doing 24 Marines against 12 Banelings, which the Banelings do cost a little bit more resources because they do cost gas, but this is the number of Banelings that is essentially the perfect amount to just destroy a whole set of Marines, but enough so that we can micro and get some really fantastic results. So I'm gonna go ahead and hotkey these guys. I'm gonna go center the map, send them here, send the Marines over here. And we're gonna wait for the Marines to go chugging, chugging, chugging along. Like they're Star Trip, Star Crap, uh, Starship Troopers. There's so many star things, they get all confusing. Anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and attack move the Banelings into these marines and I realize that attack moving is not the correct way to use bane links most of the time we'll, we'll cover that on another show probably I'm just gonna go ahead and attack move the bane links and then we're gonna see what happens to these marines when there's no micro involved whatsoever so we're just gonna go psh, and attack and we're gonna watch the chaos boom 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 and we have one marine left that is a very lucky marine we're going to go and kill that Marine, send him over here. We're going to grab some more Banelings. Send our Banelings over here. So first thing we're going to note, <coughs> while we commit some treason over here, is that there's two steps to Marine Micro that we need to keep in mind. There's the retreat step, where our Marines need to run the hell away, because they're all going to die if they try to sit there and fight. And then there's the step where we need to minimize splash damage, and that's splitting. The first step is absolutely positively the most important step. We're going to want to be running away and we're going to want to try and sacrifice one Marine at a time for the incoming Banelings. And I know you will see professional players, they'll do things like this. They'll, they'll click really far away and they'll be running away and they'll click a Marine to hit, uh, ooh, I clicked all of them, sorry. They'll be running away, they'll click one Marine, stop, stop, stop. And they'll leave Marines behind like that. That is a lot of micro, and I'm sorry, if, but you need to be doing some macro in the background. You need to figure out a way to do this where you can do your micro and then go drop a supply depot so you don't get supply booked during this. Because I don't know about you, but I much rather have, I much rather lose 24 Marines and have 24 Marines waiting back at home than only lose 12 Marines and have no Marines waiting back at home. So. We need to figure out a way that we can get our Marines to run away and have a couple guys just stop and aggro the Banelings as we're running. And it turns out that there is a command in StarCraft that does this for us, and it's called Patrol. If we put our <coughs> guys on Patrol, they just run back and forth between two points. And uh, I want you to watch this happen here because this is going to be really important later. And anything in there, anything that they can aggro while they're patrolling, they will. So this means that while these guys are on patrol, if a Baneling comes up, any guy who's close to it is going to be attacking the Baneling. So that means if we're here, let me get these guys in a bunch, and we patrol away, if a Baneling comes up, these guys are going to stop and attack. Those guys are going to stop and attack. The closer the Banelings get, the guys are going to keep stopping and attacking. So we're, I'm just going to go ahead and show you what happens. And this isn't going to look the most beautiful yet, because we're going to have to practice, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and attack these Banelings, like, really far away. And then I'm going to... Patrol. Look at that. Look at those Marines. Look at those Marines. Now we're going to go ahead and patrol over here. Look how many Marines we have left over just using the patrol key. 
it's not the most fantastic thing. You might get better with a split. If you have a perfect split, you'll actually end up only losing eight Marines. But if we look at this here, we have a very good number of Marines left over. So just using the patrol, we clicked two times during that. We clicked patrol once, we clicked patrol twice. The Marines, they just split off as they went. Pretty awesome. I'm going to send these Marines way down here because we don't need them anymore. We want another full page of Marines, another half page of Banelings, and we're going to send these guys to the center of the map. So now, oops, I didn't send those. <coughs> so now you might be thinking, hey, occasionally we had like two or three Marines re-aggro those Banelings when they were running. We want to, we will ideally want to have one Marine at a time sacrifice himself. And that requires preparation. It requires a pre-split. And no matter what you're doing in a game, even if you watch like legendary games or I'm MVP and fake boxer uh, do their stuff, having your Marines split and spread out before the Banelings even get there is way more important than having fancy, super awesome micro. So once again, we need to figure out how we can split our Marines and not waste 30 seconds doing it. Like even if we have the most fantastic micro in the world, it's going to take about, what, 72 to 96 actions to split all these Marines perfectly. And we don't, we don't want to waste that. If you're working at, if you're working at like a cruising along at 200 APM, that means you're going to spend 30 seconds splitting your Marines. And that's a lot of time. We don't have time for that. We need to split our Marines and do some other stuff. And what we're going to do, the best way to do that actually is use a patrol command again. And if you recall before, when we just patrolled these guys, each single Marine wants to go to that spot. And look at this, they're spreading themselves because they're trying to run around each other. All we had to do is just patrol, and we can select our hot group, and we just hit H to hold. And look, look at that split. I mean, that's it's not the most amazing split on Earth. These, some of these guys are going to take some splash damage, but if we patrol run away, fewer Marines are going to aggro at a time now because they're split in this way more. We can even take a slightly better split. We do what I call a Z split. You hold shift, hit, and then we're going to make a Z. We're going to go here, here, and here. So we're going to hit there, there, there. And then you can go macro, and these guys will just keep themselves split up like the entire time. And when we come back, you just like say, oh, hey, 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 I need to go do something now. Look, bam, split. Got a beautiful split here. Now watch what happens. I'm going to send these banelings over here, and then I'm going to patrol my guys away when they come. I'm waiting for the banelings, waiting for the banelings. I'm just going to keep patrolling them in circles. Oh, and look how many marines we saved that time. We actually did better than a full split. A, f a perfect split where no marines take damage, we would have ended up with one less marine than this. And all I was doing is, I used what, I don't, I didn't count, I had three actions, maybe four actions there. And we just ran away with the patrol key, and the guys automatically, they all went up, sacrificed their lives. It was beautiful. 